Am I crazy for letting it bother me that my partner agreed with his ex about me? I have always been independent, I was single and on my own 100% for 10 years with my child until I met my current partner. Bought my own place, own two cars, just like the majority of people do. This guy is truly amazing and I have never been happier. We have been together for years. His ex-wife I noticed in the beginning of our relationship, was always always calling and yelling about needing more money for this, more money for that. Always about money. Their children are grown and he already makes huge payments but it was just not enough. Anyhow, not my business so not my place to say anything. Not something I even care to know about. We have never met or interacted, and never had any reason to. So in December she texted him, talking about what a mooch their son's girlfriend is and her mother as well. He was playing the texts in text to voice while sitting next to me, so no I wasn't snoopin', said the girlfriend needs to sign a prenuptial before getting serious with her son. The son doesn't own anything or even work, so unsure how his girlfriend is mooching from him, she was just sounding extra spicy and miserable. Then says speaking of which, you need to get whoever that is that you're with to sign one too. We have worked hard over half our lives to just have her take everything from us. I was stunned, but when he replied to her Roger that I was incredibly hurt that he didn't defend me. He instead sounded like he agreed with her. I asked if he really thought I was going to do something like that to him and he said no. When I mentioned that really hurt when he agreed, he just said let it go and it's nothing to be upset over. We had never even talked about moving in together. I definitely like having my own place. But now after that, I will never ever move in with him in the future. Not a chance. One time he mentioned a problem about the huge payments he makes to her and I was snarky and said something about her being so concerned about me signing a prenuptial so I don't take what's hers, and he got angry. The one and only time I have seen him angry at me. Part of me wants to bail because she obviously still has so much control over his life when they have been split for years. Am I crazy for letting this bother me like he thinks I am? Comment. Smart call. Really, really, really smart call. So. He didn't get angry with the ex when she went off on you, and didn't shut her down, but he got mad at you when you pointed this out? Hmm. Methinks your partner is a little confused about who exactly his partner is. Just flip it back on them both and say I don't think JTS a good idea to move in together and intermingle our finances. I worked way too hard all these years to have you and your ex bleed me dry with these ridiculous adult aged child support payments. One time he mentioned a problem about the huge payments he makes to her and I was snarky and said something about her being so concerned about me signing a prenuptial so I don't take what's hers, and he got angry. The one and only time I have seen him angry at me. I'd be out of there. He is disloyal to you, runs his mouth about you with his nasty ex. And can't appreciate you, who is not mooching off of him to your right value. What do you want there? Although they are separated he still gives the spineless knot a puppet when it comes to his ex. I'd so roger that him out of my life if I were in your shoes. Why? Because I see no room for betterment or personal improvement. No valuing and appreciating you. They are in a total other rat race making it all about money. Can you point out where it states they owned a business and this money is going towards business expenses? One would assume that business expenses would come out of business funds and not from one party demanding the other give them cash. On top of that, if it is her money too, and they've divorced, one would assume she got her share and her own bank account. If anything, these sound more like child support and alimony payments. No way to know for sure, since Op doesn't seem to know the details. Whether is alimony, paying back marital debt, or just generosity on his part, the fact that she saw fit to disparage Op and he did nothing to stop it. That's deal breaking alone, factor in his reaction when Op pointed out the unfairness of the situation. This needs serious discussion and review. Yeah I agree that she was disrespectful, but if it's her money too then she has a right to voice her opinion about a prenup. She doesn't have a right to be rude though, and frankly this guy doesn't sound like he really cares about up anyway. If she no longer sees a future with him what's the point? Nah, sounds like he has a crazy ex and it's pointless to argue with her. Roger that is not agreeing or disagreeing. He acknowledged he got her message. He didn't say will do and didn't start some big argument with his ex probably bc he's learned there's no point. Yeah this. People here are assuming due to this one thing this means he's still partly with the ex and forgetting who his partner is, and that they're gossiping about op together, what? There's reading between the lines and then there's this, 
fabricating additional info perhaps due to some heavy projecting going on. How is all that possible to tell from this context? To me it just sounds like he just wants to get the conversation over with and there's no point wasting time going against the crazy ex. The one thing Ops BF might be guilty of is not putting her mind at ease when she wondered why he didn't defend her. I agree with many of the responses saying that he could have just been trying to brush her off and avoid an argument with his, roger that, response. The fact that he had the nerve to get upset with you when you questioned him is far more concerning. Even if he is just trying to keep the peace with his ex, he should be willing and able to address your concerns and discuss your feelings like a mature adult. Nobody wants a partner who won't have their back when they need it and who can't discuss issues in the relationship like an adult. You deserve better. You have already proven that you can take care of yourself financially. If he isn't able to take care of your emotional needs, then you don't need him. Imo Roger that is an acknowledgement that the message has been received. It's not a statement of agreement. He could very well have just been trying to end the conversation without having to get into a fight with the ex. I have an ex-wife that tries to goad me into confrontation on a fairly regular basis. I often will say something like that as my way of brushing her off and putting an end to our exchange. I would never in a million years take advice from my ex. There's a reason why she's my ex. He could very well be in the same mindset. Maybe give him the benefit of the doubt considering he communicated that he doesn't agree with the ex. Next story too. I caught my wife texting him at 11 at night when I wasn't home and was laughing about it. My wife is a manager at a complex where she works with two maintenance. She started befriending one in particular I'll call him loser for my sake. He is married but his marriage is rocky as hell because he's a cheater pretty much. The wife is with him but never lets him live it down. I was okay with my wife being his friend until one moment. He called her at 11 at night and she went to a separate room and was extremely secretive with him. I was not okay with this at all and I told her that. I told her I only want him to contact her when it was about work and she said she would talk to him. Well I thought she did and that she put that boundary. A few days ago his wife texted my wife again at 11 inviting her to a party, I didn't like it because I made it clear I was not okay with her hanging out with him outside of work. She said she would talk to him to not do that. Well two days passed after that and she never mentioned it again so I asked her if she talked to him. She said yes, but I knew that was a lie, just something inside of me knew. I left to visit my mom on Tuesday and then Wednesday comes and she tells me that he went to the complex because he fought with his wife. I immediately found it weird and just couldn't shake the feeling that they met up. I couldn't do anything about it though. Well then comes last night, she gets extremely drunk and falls asleep. I couldn't take it anymore and looked through her messages. This is what I see dated Tuesday, the day he went to the complex. Him, Benadryl didn't work now I can't sleep her, it's supposed to help you fall asleep him, you won't get in trouble right? I know it's not about work lol her, no lol he's not here he's with his mom him, can you talk? Her, yeah him, be there in 20 minutes her, I thought you meant over the phone him, lol. And it ends there. Now she tells me she didn't cheat. I have been telling her for months that I'm not okay with this. That I didn't want them talking. She gaslit me into thinking that I was overreacting. Turns out she's been texting him for months at this point. She wants to work it out but I can't just forgive her for straight up lying to my face. I have his wife's Instagram and I know it'll ruin his marriage if I message her. But she made me swear not to message her because it's her life and job on the line. I'm so damn conflicted on what I should be feeling and how to go about it. Comment. She wants you to promise not to contact his wife, even after she's promised to not talk to him and still is. What has your wife actually done to work things out with you? I'm betting it's probably very little. If so, then I'd let the other wife know. The bottom line is that choices slash actions have consequences. She reaps what she sows. No, never believe that the first time. I'm on here a lot and they say this a lot. Set your boundaries and expectations. Tell the wife as well. Both of you are heartbroken. You shouldn't. You trusted her many times only for her to betray your trust many times. She's been confiding in this guy. This guy teases her by asking if she will get in trouble for talking to him for unrelated work things. Your wife is enjoying the attention and drama coming from this guy. As well as creating her own drama. You have no obligation to keeping professional life intact when she has blown that shit up herself. As well as her marriage. She doesn't deserve an iota of respect when she is clearly into disrespect. 
Disrespecting your marriage. Your boundaries. The cheater's marriage. At minimum she's emotionally cheating. Worst case scenario they're fucking. Your wife is getting played and enjoys it. The guy obviously confides in her and is probably using his marital problems as a way to get closer to your wife. Your wife is actively participating in it. She's captivated by this emotional whirlwind. They're both using each other to escape their marriages. Instead of your wife communicating her needs and having them met by you. She's gonna gaslight you and distract herself with the cheap attention she's getting from this guy. As soon as you pull away and she really feels it. She's going to come groveling back. Don't you forget the hell she's putting you through. Don't stick around to get hurt again. The reason she wants you to not talk to his wife is that she wants to keep you in the dark as much as possible, to limit your options. If you're in communication with the wife, you can work together to corroborate stuff and combat them. Honestly it sounds like so much work and so not worth it. Going scorched earth on the communication is better than either of them deserve. I would blow this up and tell his wife ASAP. Your wife lied to you for a month talking to him, and they met up. It seems like his plan worked on your wife, if his marriage was so rocky or bad I don't think his wife would be throwing him a party and inviting his co-workers one of which happens to be your wife slash AP good luck. Emotional affair at a minimum. And honestly your wife has lied and crossed boundaries so many times now you can't believe anything she says. She won't get that unless you leave or do something similar. Even then I'm not sure you could believe her. Good luck and let us know how it goes. Look. She lied, and she's having an emotional affair with the guy, and she's now trying to protect him. My advice. Confront her. Tell her she lied to you repeatedly. Tell her you don't believe Ja when she claims she didn't cheat, but if she's the one who tells his wife everything you'll give her another chance. And when dot she tells you she'll risk her job by doing it, tell her that if she wants another chance with you, she cannot keep working with the guy she's lied to you about. Don't let her off the hook, she'll never stop it as long as they work together. If they haven't hooked up yet, it's only a matter of time. AMD get STD tested, make sure she knows you're doing it. And, since she's lied so much, I strongly suggest you consider Keelager on her phone before confronting, odds are she'll keep talking to him, but will try to hide it.